This is the glitchiest offense in Madden 24. Has explosive run plays. Instant wide open glitch routes all over the field. I'm wide open. And multiple one play touchdowns against every defense in the game. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. So if you guys want to see what brand new offense I'm using, get results like this. Wow. Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The setups and plays from today's video can once again be found on my Baltimore Ravens offensive and multi-D defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks soon by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. This is my second video using the Ravens offensive playbook, so I'm going to be using the Ravens team that it was designed for once again. And I'm going to be facing the face of the game himself in Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, or if you just want to show support to the channel for all the free fire that I give you guys all year long, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. I started this game out on defense, and I am still using my quarter normal scheme that I put out just yesterday. But I'm going to focus mostly on offense in this video, so if you guys want to see more, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I start the game using my cover four base, and my opponent starts the game running the ball well enough to get in the field goal range with Tyler Bass's kick power. So I decided to play more aggressively and start blitzing in hopes of pushing him backwards, and it works on the next three plays. <laughs> as we get the sack on third and long and force him to punt on fourth and a mile. On offense, I start the game out using a brand new offense in the pistol strong slot, as this is definitely one of my favorite formations in this offense, and it's also super glitchy, but this offense is not nearly as explosive as the offense that today's video is about, as it's more about trick plays and running a ball control offense, and the trick plays can backfire if not used correctly, <laughs> as I waste the entire first quarter only to give my opponent a touchdown due to a bad pitch animation. I keep trying it on the next drive, and I do plan on bringing you guys a full gameplay of this offense soon. But for today's video, I'm going to focus on what is one of my favorite offenses in the game, in the gun normal while off close. I think it was only added to the game last year. And it must have been very popular because this year was a lot of knockoff formations added that are very similar like the double Z close. But none of them can do what this formation does. The best plays I use for my four play audibles are almost all one play touchdowns as well. As this formation is one of the most explosive and aggressive offenses in the game. I only use use one run play the inside zone even though this formation has several rpo plays that might be better i use this one just to keep my opponent honest meaning if he comes out in something too small not respecting the run that's what he's going to get my other three audible plays are all one play touchdown plays that have very hard to stop dink and dunk concepts as well making this offense very versatile in the double slant the y stick dig and the escape play which is probably my favorite i made a full breakdown of this offense as well so if you guys want to see the full power of all the things this offense can do in all the setups i will have links in the description as well on screen at the end of the video once again. For my fifth and active play, I always choose the mesh spot as this play requires no setup, meaning I can hike the ball right away before my opponent gets a chance to set up their defense, giving me a huge advantage. It's also one of the hardest plays to stop as just about every route here will get open against man or zone if you throw it at the right time, except for the streak which is just there to pull back coverage. So I hike the ball right away and take the drag to get close to a first down. On third and three, I have options for days to get the first down. I could run the double drags once again as I'm sure I can get the first down that way, or I could run the inside zone since he doesn't have have any second level defenders and I would most likely get the first down either way but since I read man zero I decided to score instead I mentioned earlier how this offense can do things that other similar formations can't and the biggest one happens when I motion this receiver in here as he will stop in the slot giving you what looks like a gun tight where in other formations similar the receiver doesn't stop instead going all the way across the formation this setup allows me to do things like turn this play into a bench concept if I put him on a simple out route but since he's in a cover zero and I'm on a hash mark to the wide side of the field i want to isolate this corner route so i put him on an in route instead this corner route here will get open against this coverage with no adjustments but since he's in a man zero blitz and his third and two i want to shorten the route by smart routing it to get it open even faster and look how it freezes the db in coverage as he barely even moves and i go right around him and the user for an instant score so long suckers 
On defense, my opponent responds with a good drive to take up most of what's left of the second quarter before we get into a third and one from the edge of field goal range, and I get another huge stop pushing him backwards. To put him in no man's land from the 44-yard line, he decides to go for it, and he picks it up on a crossing route. He runs with Josh Allen the next play to get closer, and he has to use his final timeout with only 11 seconds left, meaning I have to get a sack or a tackle in bounds to end the half with no points. Nope. But he ain't taking any chances and decides to kick a field goal instead. Now at halftime with only 7 points on the board, I only had the ball twice and I only used my new offense for one drive. I at least get the ball back in the second half and I read what looks like a cover 2 zone. So since I'm on a hash mark to the short side of the field, I switch to the Y stick dig. I motion in the X receiver one more time to create that same tight look once again to condense the defense. Only this time, I'm going to put him on a streak instead to pull back the deep coverage in the area. And look how wide open this wheel route gets off the line again as this motion is incredibly glitchy to most defenses. And I get another big play to get in the field goal range already. I run a hurry up and he switches to cover zero again like that's his default solution. So I wait to see what he switches to and then I go right back to the escape play once again. Only this time I have to flip the play so that the corner route is running to the wide side of the field. I smart route it again but since it's first and ten I don't nearly get the same dramatic route angle. But it still gets wide open the same way. Oh shit this as we celebrate a little too early and have to fight our way into the end zone. On defense, Josh Allen is doing Josh Allen things as I give up the first down, but I showed in yesterday's video that this defense can really shut down your opponent's run game as his stat line looks almost identical to Alvin Kamara's stat line from yesterday. And the only reason he has a touchdown right now is because of a fumble. But Josh Allen is still really hard to contain as this guy is literally playing just like him, rolling out, buying time, and putting defenders in conflict while also running annoying hard-to-stop RPO plays before he gets a completely random offsides penalty and takes a deep shot to get inside of the red zone What? before switching to my iPhone close scheme and scoring with the speed out route that I put out and made popular to take the lead back. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. He comes out in that same double mug look with no second level defenders, so to me, this is like stealing. So I switch to the inside zone look this time and almost break a big run right away, but I'm not letting him out of this look. So I call a hurry up and get a bigger run on the second time before I hurry him up again to get a huge pancake block right over the middle. Yeah! and get all the rest. As I'm pretty sure I won't see him in this defense the rest of the game since I literally ran right over it. Team celebration and all. Do it. He goes back to running the ball, but I'll take that all game since he hasn't been getting much against his defense. But after he gets a first down, I decide to bulk up to discourage that. Surprise, motherfucker. And shut him down for no gain on the next play. Before he hurries me up and tries to pass, and that's what I want him to do. Gotcha, bitch. As Josh Allen is still doing Josh Allen things. Back on offense, I see he's in cover zero one more time, but I don't want to overuse the same one play touchdown too much so that he catches on. So I switch to the double slant play, as this setup is completely different, but the results are the same. As all I have to do is motion across his B post route to turn into a corner route and it looks like he's using his coverage assignment as he plays it too close and actually draws a penalty for pass interference before letting him get wide open anyways Fuck you! to take a two possession lead. He tries to run to start the next drive but we've seen how well that works out well, I bet you here. before the pressure forces him to throw out a sack and we get him to a fast third and long that turns into a fourth and one. So I could play for the stop but my real goal is to keep him out of the end zone. So he picks it up before I switch to my prevent defense and he completes a big pass down the field anyway. And now he is fighting for the sideline to keep as much clock as possible as he slowly works his way down the field. But that's all part of the plan. As things get way harder as the field gets shorter. Gotcha, bitch. And we get an interception that should end the game. But since this is an offensive video and he hasn't rage quit yet, I decide to try and run up the score. I read what looks like cover three, and this two wide receiver set is glitchy even without making a motion. As this outside corner route will usually match the double post long enough to let the wheel route get open underneath for a quick throw outside. As we get another glitchy catch and run to get inside the red zone. On the next play, I think I read man cover one, but when I motion across the B receiver, no one follows. So it's obviously a cover three. So I just put him on a streak instead to get him open up the cover three seam, and we score another touchdown for the intro's highlight reel. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more setups from the offense that I was using, or see more about the defense that I used to only give up 10 points, I'll have links of them popping up on screen. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.